options for full electric power are growing in the sector for really large MPVs. Here's Citroen's take on this concept, the e-space tourer. In 50 kilowatt hour form, it won't go particularly far on a single charge, but it'll seat up to nine, help you move house or function as a kind of executive minibus, all without using a drop of fuel. Very soon, no segment of the automotive market will lack full EV model options. And one of those sectors lately gaining BEV models has been that for large people carriers. This isn't really because manufacturers think this to be much of a potential growth area. It's more because really big MPVs are always based on the kind of mid-sized vans that car makers, pressurised by governments, are starting to offer in full electric form these days. The Mercedes Vito, Peugeot Expert, Vauxhall Vivaro and Citroen Dispatch LCVs can now all be had in full EV form. So their MPV counterparts, the Mercedes V-Class, the Peugeot Traveller, the Vauxhall Vivaro Life and the Citroen Space Tourer also get the BEV treatment. The Peugeot, the Vauxhall and the Citroen are essentially the same underneath, sharing the same PSA Group powertrain. It's the Citroen model badged the eSpace Tourer that we look at here. These days, if you want a Citroen Space Tourer, you have to have this all-electric drivetrain too. Now, using it is straightforward. You turn the key in the ignition, wait for the starting beep, then flick the gear toggle into drive. You're ready. There's a drive mode selector that allows drivers to switch between eco, normal and power modes. There's 136 horsepower on tap and there's also a B option that ploughs extra energy back into the battery, offering more resistance while you're slowing down. Top speed is just 84 miles an hour. Big people carriers are largely used for suburban duties, which is just as well because this car's not much good for anything else. A huge, heavy people carrier relying on a battery designed to sustain an electric super mini was never going to travel very far between charges. And sure enough, this eSpace Taurus 50 kilowatt hour battery pack takes this Citroen only 136 miles between charges. So you're going to need to think hard if you're going anywhere more than 60 miles or so away, unless you've the time for a potentially lengthy recharging stop before your return journey. This is annoying because this car's LCV counterpart, the Dispatch Van, has the option of a larger 75 kilowatt hour battery that would add around 60 miles of additional range. At the time of this test in early 2022, that wasn't being offered on the eSpace Tourer. The magic carpet-like ride that you might hope for on a Citroen is missing here, an issue exacerbated by the extra battery weight of this eSpace Tourer model. But the engineers have done their best to make the ride as car-like as possible, developing springs for this model that feature variable levels of stiffness to suit the level of load being carried. In addition, the shock absorbers are load sensitive and feature what Citroen calls a passive system that are just springing and damping as required, depending on the road surface. This Citroen corners slightly better than some of its competitors too, though inevitably there's still plenty of body roll if, rather unwisely, you start throwing the thing about. If you can ignore both that and the slightly vague steering and find yourself absolutely having to push on, you'll also find that there's more grip and traction than an MPV of this kind would normally offer. It all means that at the wheel of this people carrier, you can make controlled, steady progress without necessarily overreacting on the brake pedal at the first sight of a tight bend in the road. Add in a commandingly high driving position, and the result is a vehicle that on the move feels smaller and more wieldy than its outward dimensions would suggest. Testers who'd found the sheer size of, say, a Mercedes V-Class quite daunting were, we found, much more easily able to acclimatise to a space tourer when dealing with narrow country lanes and squeezing through gaps in the traffic. A tight turning circle of between 11.3 and 12.9 metres, depending on body style, makes town driving and parking simpler. 
Plus, this Citroen's 1.9 metre roof height is low enough to allow it to fit under car park barriers, so you don't have to search out alternative places to leave the car when you go off shopping. Or get stuck in with the trucks if you ever use the Channel Tunnel. Look at the class leaders in the super large van based MPV segment, and it's clear that a lot of effort has been put in to distance the designs in question from their LCV underpinnings. Which is why Citroen has put so much work in here to create the smart and, in some ways, actually quite attractive silhouette of this Space Tourer model. You certainly wouldn't immediately dismiss it as a dispatch van with windows. Add in the right wheels and a careful choice of colour. And you could imagine a larger family parking it on their driveway with at least some degree of pride. Apart from the badge work and the charging flap, it'll be difficult for your neighbours to spot that you've switched your big MPV to full electric power. This big Citroen is clearly van derived, but the looks are modern and not too LCV like. And this MPV comes with medium length at 4.95 metres M and long. XL body lengths. Here at the front, the main change in this design's move from package carrier to people mover lies in the substitution of the van model's vast black plastic lower bumper for this smarter body coloured item. The addition of these LED daytime running light strips also gives the styling a more sophisticated touch. Move to the back, and as you'd expect, the vertically stacked lights flank a tailgate rather than the twin side-hinged rear doors you'd get on a dispatch van. What about inside the nine-seater cabin? Well, let's start up front. You open the wide driver's door and step up behind the wheel. To find yourself in a remarkably car-like interior. Changes to create this all electric version are few. There's a driver selector toggle where the gear lever would normally be, and you get a power flow gauge instead of a rev counter in the instrument binnacle. And that's about it. As you can see, to maximize passenger capacity, you get the dual front passenger bench that would normally be fitted in a dispatch van. The middle seated person will obviously be slightly restricted in terms of stretch out space, but because the gear stick has been taken from its conventional position on the floor and mounted in this extended section of the lower dash, an adult could cope here, provided the journey in question wasn't too long. The fascia's focal point is found with this centrally situated 7-inch colour touchscreen. It includes a mirror screen feature so you can duplicate your smartphone's display onto the monitor via either the Apple CarPlay or the MirrorLink Android Auto systems. Fortunately, this monitor doesn't also control the ventilation and air conditioning in the way it does in Citroen's smaller C4. Those controls, as you can see, are further down. It means that on a space tourer, you don't have to go jabbing around on the touchscreen every time you want to, say, switch from the stereo to get a warming blast on your feet. Looking around, there's nothing about this cabin that feels utilitarian or especially van-like, which is impressive since at-the-wheel differences between this space tourer and a dispatch LCV are really only limited to minor things like this mid-level dashboard trim strip, bright work around the four air vents and the stitched leather covering for the multifunction steering wheel. The two clear dials you view through that three-spoke wheel are pretty much the same too. The gauge is separated by a trip computer display that can include a digital speedometer and incorporates a welcome standard coffee break alert feature that advises drivers to take a break after two hours of uninterrupted motoring. It's a simple extra feature that other brands ought to copy. A quick word about cabin storage. Now, all models get this lidded cubby on top of the dashboard and the door bins can easily swallow a 1.5 litre water bottle. There are cup holders on both sides of the dashboard and in the middle of the fascia there's this small open cubby where you can stash your mobile phone close to the power and USB sockets. And finally, we'll tell you that you'll find it a useful storage area beneath this dual front passenger bench seat. 
Right, let's head rearwards. The battery installation hasn't compromised passenger or cargo space in any way. All the rear seats can be removed to reveal a van-like cargo area, but they're heavy and awkward to lift and you need a big garage to store them in. We'll start with a look at the second row, which, as on all van base models, is accessed by a sliding side door. Here in the middle of the cabin, you'll find an outer single seat paired with a two-person bench. It's all a bit minibus-like, but you get ample knee, shoulder and headroom. Now, let's see what it's like in the third row of this eSpace Tourer. The outer passenger side seat lifts and tilts forward to aid access, something further aided by the provision of a higher roof line than you'd find in something more car-like, say a Ford Galaxy. Once you're in and seated on the three-person bench, you'll be reminded just why medium-sized vans make such a great starting point for a properly large family-sized MPV, instead of being crammed in cattle class, as you would be in even the largest car-based people carriers, there's more than enough space here for arms, legs and heads. Just as importantly, there's also a good view out from the large windows, which is not always the case with seven-seat MPVs and SUVs. This gives this rearmost part of the Space Tourer an airy feel, while the slightly raised base means that your view forward encompasses more than just the head of the person in front. There's also storage space for small items and drinks. And what about luggage capacity? Well, the space you get with all three rows of seats in place obviously varies depending on the body style you've chosen. With this mid-range M body shape, there's 627 millimetres of length from the back of the third seating row to the tailgate, which means you get 700 litres of cargo space up to the level of the load bay cover, or as much as 900 litres if you were to load to the roof. With the top XL body shape, you'll have an enormous 1,060 litres to play with up to parcel shelf level, or up to 1,500 litres if you were to load to the roof. A lot of the time, of course, you'll be using this Citroen with only five seats in place. If, as on this M model, we fold the third row backrest onto the seat base, we'll increase loading capacity to 1,100 litres or 2,300 litres if we were to take these third row chairs out entirely. The XL variant, with the third row taken out, could offer up to 3,100 litres of capacity up to roof level. Finally, let's cover the capacity you'd get when you only need the front two seats. In this M model, with second and third row backrests folded onto their bases, you'd have 2,000 litres of space up to parcel shelf level and 3,000 litres up to roof height. If you were to entirely take the second and third row seating out, those figures would each rise by 1,200 litres. To give you an idea of ultimate carriage potential across the eSpace Tourer range, in an XL model with just driver and front seat passenger in place and all the rear seats removed, the total potential capacity would be a removal van like 4,900 litres. That's a lot more than you get in many sizeable vans. There's a single trim level for this 50 kilowatt hour e-space Tora model, business edition, but it's offered with a choice of either the mid-sized medium body shape or, for hardly any more, the largest XL version. Both qualify for the government's plug-in car grant and therefore can be yours for around £30,000 for the M version. It's £200 more for the XL variant. Citroen still isn't offering the option of its larger 75 kilowatt hour battery pack that you can get and which gives you much greater range in the brand's mechanically identical dispatch van. We'd like to see that change if this option can be introduced affordably. As you'd expect, pricing here is pretty comparable to what you'd pay for this model's mechanically identical Stellantis Group counterparts, the Peugeot e-Traveller and the Vauxhall Vivaro e-Life. The equipment levels here are pretty comparable too. This nine-seat model's business edition spec gives you quite a lot. Specifically, you can tick off daytime running lights, front fog lamps, auto headlamps and wipers, rear parking sensors and a full-size spare wheel. Inside, there's air conditioning and cruise control. 
An infotainment's taken care of by a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system, including a DAB radio, USB and aux in points, Bluetooth phone connectivity and the further opportunity to link in your handset and view favourite apps via the MirrorLink Android Auto and Apple CarPlay systems. All eSpace Tora models feature Citroen Connect Nav with real-time traffic alerts, as well as a Citroen Connect box that alerts assistance or emergency services in the event of an incident or accident. Safety-wise, there's very little camera-style kit included, but Citroen has covered off the basics. That includes the usual electronic assistance for braking, traction and stability control, along with Hill Start Assist to stop you from drifting backwards on uphill junctions. We also like the standard coffee break alert feature that advises drivers to take a break after two hours of uninterrupted motoring. And there are rear seat ISOFIX child seat mountings and a tyre pressure monitoring system. You get twin front lateral and head thorax airbags too. <laughs> Because the eSpace Tora supports up to 100 kilowatt rapid charging technology, an 80% charge will take just 30 minutes. This EV people carrier also features a 7 kilowatt onboard charger as standard. A full charge from a 7.4 kilowatt domestic wall box takes 7 hours and 30 minutes. With the alternative 11 kilowatt wall box, you can reduce that to 4 and 3 quarter hours. For peace of mind, the lithium-ion battery pack in this model comes with an 8-year or 100,000-mile warranty for up to 70% of the initial battery capacity. To get close to the quoted 136-mile range figure, you'll need to engage Eco mode frequently, which reduces power output to 80 horsepower. The included Citroen Connect Box package allows the driver to set up deferred charging or to precondition the vehicle via the My Citroen mobile app on their smartphone. To enhance the ownership experience of this Citroen, the brand's partnered with Polar, the UK's largest public charging station provider, to give customers a free six-month subscription to Polar Plus. This brings with it the convenience of having access to more than 5,000 public charging stations across the UK. Potentially, the eSpace Tora is an excellent product. We like the way that the battery powertrain has been built into this people carrier without any compromise to interior space. It's quiet and well built, looks contemporary and is well equipped. The elephant in the room, though, is the 136 mile driving range, which for quite a few families and business folks simply won't be enough for a vehicle of this type. Hopefully, a version with Citroen's larger 75 kilowatt hour battery will be along shortly. If you can live with the range, though, as some city based families and business users might be able to, there's potentially a lot to like here, though it's less easy to see why you'd choose the Citroen version of this design rather than the near identical Peugeot e Traveller or Vauxhall e Vivaro Life models. If the range and the deal is right for you, though, this big, French MPV might be worth a look.